My name is Daryl Rademacher. I'm with XCP Corporation here in Brooksville, Florida. We're going to be showing you two different products here. Both of them are vending of time on a 115 volt type outlet. Example we have right here set up using the clear token. This is a cellular phone app. Example I've got right here showing on my cell phone um, IF192 works with Bluetooth. So this is the number. To access this, the instructions are on the side. You load this on your cell phone, and then you're able to use either Visa or MasterCard to make payments. So we've got three different prices set up on our display. Example, $1.75 for one hour. So I'm going to go and pick this one right now. The I have 192. It should pick up. There it is, it's showing on my screen one hour for 175. I can change that to 350 for two hours, four hours for seven dollars. I'm going to pick one hour for $1.75. To make my VIN, I hit the VIN button. It goes to the server, makes payment, and you'll hear a click. There we go, we made payment. When we're finished, we just press done. And by the way, it comes up on the screen here, transaction complete. And if you're using a bicycle lock that fits through right here, then the uh, lock combination as an example for this one is 9172. So optionally you can install a bicycle type lock, combination type lock. Ready. All right, just to show it, it's now in operation. We put a little test plug in here. You see the two yellow LEDs indicating that we're putting out 110 volts, 115 volts AC, 15 amps on it. This has got a GFI on it for safety. And uh, you can stop it by uh, either letting it time out, or you can go over here and just press the switch and it shuts down the power and ends the bend cycle for time. Now this unit is available for wall mount or on the little pedestal stand. We offer a pedestal stand as an option separately because most people will mount this on their own uh, conduit coming up out of the ground. They don't need anything for this. Some will mount this on the wall. It has ears on the top and the bottom for mounting to a wall or on the bottom, there's a three-quarter uh, coupling, conduit coupling, where you, if you want to go directly right up through the bottom. All right, now this is the second part of our video. Again, it's for vending of electricity from an outlet. All right, we have the exact same as we had on the other with the GFI, and we've got our little tester set up here. But the difference is we're using a NIAX. Now the NIAX takes either the magnetic stripe cards that NIAX uh, produce, supplies for like $4 a piece, or the tap and go RFID, the same $4 from XCP, the vendor cards. I have with me both types of cards. I'm going to put down the mag stripe, and I'm gonna utilize tap and go. Now, I can use magnetic stripe, or chip, or tap and go. In this case, I'm going to use my tap and go. Okay, we've got power to the NIAX. It goes through and goes through the screens. And I want to also point out, it takes chip cards again, and magnetic stripe, tap and go, and the um, symbol type also. And I, um, NIAX wants us to explain to the customers that yes, it's possible to take American Express, but please don't tell the customers that it takes American Express and Discover. Just Visa and MasterCard. Okay, we've made payment with our RFID card. 
could have been whatever credit card that you had picked or also cell phone app. It's now in the count up mode right now. It took off one dollar. And you'll look over here on this side here. You'll see the two little orange LEDs. All right, I'm going to reset the uh, uh, RF um, GFI. There, they should be on now. Um, during the process, the customer can stop any time. They have three ways to stop the count-up process of selling electricity. They can press the stop button, they can press the X, and they can press the stop button. I should say there's actually four ways. They can go over here and just shut off the main power. So you have four different ways, and if I haven't explained it, a little test indicator here that I'm using for testing instead of plugging in a golf cart or electric vehicle charging station, but it's a standard uh, three-prong outlet with the GFI on it and the reset for if you have a ground fault. And again, you can use a bicycle lock that goes through here if you want to secure to lock up your electric vehicle charging station through this. Um, it's operating wirelessly over the Verizon network. And again, I want to say again, NIAX does not want us to tell customers that it accepts American Express. They want us to promote Visa and MasterCard. Um, I guess there are reasons behind this that we don't know. But anyway, okay, we don't care. It's Visa, MasterCard. We're happy with that as long as it takes money. It also takes RFID reloadable cards, which I was saying to you before. These are reloadable cards. They're 12.5 megahertz cards, and you can revalue them over 100,000 times using the NIAX dashboard. This is available, as you see here, for bolting to the wall, or on the bottom we have a three-quarter inch conduit connection right here that you can come up right from the ground with your uh, conduit post, or you can purchase one of the uh, four by four, six foot posts that you can see right here that we have it attached to, which gets buried into the ground, usually filled with concrete, makes it very stable, very inexpensive. We have them in, on our parts inventory. If you want to order these for standalone mounting in a parking lot, as you see here that we're displaying. And of course, you can have duals. I have uh, one on each side of this post, just to show you as example in this video. I want to point out another feature. We have a, a rain guard to protect the NIAX from the weather, from the rain, snow, ice, and dust, and everything. Your mag stripe still comes right on the side here. You get a mag stripe card, goes right here on the side, allows you to swipe it. It takes either the AMET version, meaning the older version, or the new uh, NIAX uh, uh, touch type. Either one works with the rain guard. XCP stocks this in inventory. We highly recommend it for outside locations where you have the rain and sun directly on the product. For more information on our product, please contact XAP Corporation, 352-678-3021, or look us up on our website, www.xcpcorp.com. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video.